Let the glory of God come for your prosperity, my children. And the scripture says uh, in Psalm 124, we are like best held captive under the hunter's snare. And we call on the Lord. The snare is broken and we have escaped. You are escaping this morning from the foul last snares. For God who told Noah in the book of Genesis chapter 8, release all the animals so that they can bear fruit. Child of God, I destroy anything like unproductivity in your life. In this month of number three, I connect you to the power of Genesis 1 verse 26. Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth. Therefore, let the grace of enlargement abandon your life. As a priest of God, I decree enlargement grace upon your life. May the good Lord enlarge you. May God of the Monster enlarge you. Oh, may your land be fruitful. May your land be productive. I cause anything that is not productive in your life. Today, I pray that my God will enthrone you for your crown. As the word of God says in the book of Isaiah chapter 52, the word of God says, rise up and sit in a place of honor. Remove the Assyrian chain and the Assyrian yoke. I am raising the fire of the Most High over your life. May you be lifted up from your mighty clay. I pray with my brother David in Psalm 40. I waited, I waited for the Lord. The Lord came down. The Lord came to me. He stood down and lifted me up from the mighty clay. This morning, God of the Most High will lift you up from the mighty clay. God of signs and wonders will lift you up from the mighty clay. This morning, God of zero hour will lift you up from the mighty clay. That same God that visited the house of Lazarus in Gospel of John chapter 11. And instantly, Lazarus came back to life. This morning, anything that represents Lazarus in your life is coming back to life. Amen.